Hey guys, how are you guys doing? I'm at home now doing my vlog for this week and this week is the seventh uh, vlog for this series and what we are doing today is actually my week three of my maintenance which is usually my toughest and also the most fun and easiest week for the whole vlog. So after this week, I will be going into a deload and then into a more exciting push block where I start to push more heavier weights again and try and challenge for some PRs and etc. So I'm really sorry about my last video, my vlog video, where something went wrong with the microphone and this time around I'm trying really different things, hopefully to um, provide a better quality for you guys and yeah let's jump straight to it but before that um, in this video I'm gonna talk more about um, basically two things the first one is how do I um, train with calculated risk as you know you know training is always about trying to push yourself so what is that limit and how do I usually calculate that kind of risk and when is the time do I usually take the risk? That's the first thing. And the second thing is definitely how do I enjoy myself in training? So hopefully you can relate to you guys. Some of you guys, you know, sometimes you get bored in training and etc. And maybe um, with this video, it can help you a bit and keep you motivated in your training and get you stronger as we go. So let's jump straight on to it. Okay, so the first thing that you'll see to, uh, in this video is definitely my day one. Uh, as you can see, uh, nothing special. I'm obviously doing everything the same as the previous weeks. So things are starting to get not so boring. In week one, I was just playing around. Week two, I get more focused. And week three, I just want to perform the best I can. So this is something that um, I mean most of you guys can experience as well because sometimes when the training gets boring, you just don't know what you want to do. So on week two, I decided to be more objective. That gets me all the way throughout the whole week. And this week, all I want to do is to really focus on executing all my repetitions right and be ready to try and push myself because since it's uh, week three, uh, my expected RPE for each day of the training should be higher because I want to take a deload on the next week. So it's okay for me to take, like I said, a calculated risk on whether I want to combine my set etc or just do less warm-ups and try and challenge myself to see whether I can or not. So as you can see here, I'm still doing, um, I mean on my day one, I felt really great. Um, previously my top single squats, it, it moved quite well as well. So this is my day one, I believe, and I remembered that I did not play around. I was still quite focused in trying to execute all of them right, but uh, as the week goes by, as you can later, you will see the video that I start to mess around again. But um, along the way as I mess around, I managed to hit some PRs and it was really fun for me. So, I mean, I'm, I'm coached by myself, so I'm allowed to, you know, um, add my sets and stuff. But if you guys want to do some fun M reps and stuff, please make sure you ask your coach and find the right time to do so. So I found the right time to do so in my week three because I know that I'm going to take a deload next week. So I'm doing nothing wrong here. So uh, what you're seeing right now is actually my bench and my top set. Um, I believe I did 70, 120 and then straight to the top set. It felt pretty great as well. So all in all, as I said in my last video, that my bench had been doing really, really well. I'm so happy about it. And I'm going to keep up with this momentum, not to forget how it feels. Uh, when I unrack the bench and make sure I execute them right. So everything was quite good uh, over there as you can see. This is my last video for my day one. And it's pretty easy trying to feel the muscles right. And yep, this is the one where I started to, you know, combine my sets. So this is one of my best PRs ever. This is 145 pause bench for eight reps. So you know, if I restrict myself and be conservative and finish 4 and 4, you know, I won't enjoy the whole process of training. So by combining it, I actually enjoy myself. Well, we can take it as an excuse and, you know, I'm not disciplined enough. But, you know, training sometimes is all about just having fun. So I'm human too. Um, there is no secret that why I am in this level right now. It's all about just enjoying the whole process. So if you want the secret of being a strong powerlifter is basically enjoying what you do not be sad or you know um, 
always be sulking because you're using a very lightweight as compared to others or your execution is not good always think about enjoying the process in the last week i enjoyed the process by you know um, being more focused and be less messing around and this week i'm i'm trying to take more risk and see if i can do anything out of my imagination so 145 for 8 is really quite a big thing for me and it created such a huge confidence boost for me so it's not a bad thing it's actually a very good thing for me because it boosts up my confidence and that leads up to a much heavier uh, attempt in future if i want to so back to the video this is um, probably my last few sets of my 145 back off and then the highlights for day two is definitely the deadlifts so i've been practicing my hook grip so this is 270 if i want to compare uh, this week's execution for sumo with a hook grip this week is one of the best weeks ever because uh, i'm more used to getting the hook grip i understand how it feels uh, with the thumb it's not very painful but with that pressure um, definitely you need more energy and effort doing so so this is my 290 you guys can see uh, how I execute them, much more confident, I'm not wasting my time getting under and holding that grip anymore. Once I feel good, I pull slack and then I go. So about time to go. There we go. Right, nice and smooth. Moving like an opener, so I believe this in future will be my openers if I were to have any competitions this year. So. Um, back off sets usually I don't like to wear hook grip uh, I mean use the hook grip I always just like to wear the straps and focus on the execution itself the main focus for me is basically trying to just make sure I perform it uh, based on the in terms of execution I maintain that quad drive and then hip drive so this is one of the things that I'll be mentioning in the next few tutorial videos but um, if you guys want to know about the timing and execution of the squats to prevent chest fall be sure to check out our previous tutorial videos made by me Adam and JJ so now back to my video this is day three day three highlights is obviously the the bench and I'm going to attempt something crazy and you guys will get to know you guys if you guys know my Instagram I posted a question and yeah that was something crazy and fun that i did for this week as well so this is my top sing, uh top set squats uh basically a recovery squats day so everything is pretty easy and normal and yeah this is nothing special you only see something cool and special on my next slide which is my 205 back off sets so if i'm not wrong i tried to do a rep of eight because you know suddenly the gym got really crowded and all i want to do is to complete my training and then i can focus on all the other work um, basically coaching and then helping my athletes out uh, throughout the whole day so yep as you can see here nothing bad is happening i'm just you know still in a very good technique just that i'm you know almost catching out of breath so i'm holding and maintaining that tension with JJ helping me behind yep nice and easy so that's yet another calculated risk so calculated risk so you know sometimes people ask me why do you want to do such a thing so because um, I have already calculated it in my mind I knew that I can do it and it's not gonna affect me that much in terms of the first fatigue so yeah this is 170 without any warm-up you know this is not to taunt or flex or anything this is just um, to prove to myself that actually I'm capable of doing such an insane thing probably because I used to do strong men where we don't have equipment to do warm-ups for example if you are lifting up a 120 kg stone there's no warm-up to it you have to go straight to it so I'm thankful that I used to do strong men which probably leads to how I am so if you guys want to do strongman before that or along the way, feel free to do so. But I mean, it's definitely going to affect your fatigue as you train for powerlifting. So if you want to do strongman, just go strongman and then powerlifting, just go powerlifting. So now last day of my training, everything is pretty easy. 
um, touch and go bench press definitely felt the fatigue after the 6x3 the day before so um, yep, the day before I was doing 152.5 6x3 so that was always the toughest bench and I can feel the fatigue which is why I gave myself a pretty light bench press on this day so yep nothing special here moving on to my back off set of bench press touch and go moving pretty easy and then i'm getting ready for my deload so bench start, uh, my deload started for my bench earlier so um, moving on to my last few videos for the vlog so this is my deadlift um, yep 260 with very very good execution still focusing on the execution of the ascent quad drivers and then the hips and then last but not least my last video to finish it off very nice and easy deadlifts okay and then four reps All right okay and then one last one which is five reps yeah, so I hope this video can actually help you um, consider what kind of risks you are willing to take in your training. Definitely, with my kind of experience, I'm more willing to take more insane or crazy risks. I mean, training is all about having fun. We are all humans and, you know, sometimes we just want to take that bit of risk. So sometimes if my client wants to do something funny, you know, um, combining sets or whatever, I can feel them but I can I need to also tell them that you know sometimes if the time is not right you should not do so all right guys so there you have it I hope you enjoy this video much better as the previous one and if you enjoy this format be sure to let me know on my Instagram or comment it down below and before we go I just want to let you guys know that i have a new online coaching platform service right now and it's called creator strength i will put the link in the description below and at the same time i'm selling my merchandise so um, i will be rolling the the images right now of the t-shirt if you guys like the t-shirt and you want to support me be sure to dm me and check out the link also in the description below and then you guys can drop me a DM and see if you guys are interested in buying it. So as of now, one t-shirt sells at 45 SGD Singapore dollar. And then I strongly encourage you to buy two t-shirts at $30 each. So um, the one with the unstoppable one, it's a limited edition. So this is basically only for my athletes. But I'm allowing the rest of you guys who wants this t-shirt to buy it as well. And this period will end basically in two weeks so be quick before i stop the order and then you guys cannot order anymore all right so that's all for me and i hope to see you again goodbye